Hello. So we've been talking a lot about communities, rural communities, urban communities, suburban communities. This book is called City Dog. It's written by Carla Cuskin. So pay attention to the title and take a look at the picture and decide what type of community this book might be about. Might it be about a rural community, a suburban community like Epping, or an urban community like a city? Do you see a lot of buildings like this in a city? Are they close together? Okay, let's take a look. The answer would be yes, you do. It is a book about an urban city. Let's take a look at the inside cover. And there's some more pictures for you. Looks like um, part of a family um, with a suitcase and a dog on a long leash. Wonder if he's the star of the show, this story. And they must be inside. It looks like this is what they see outside their window. Do you see that outside your window? We're from your house in the suburban town of Epping. Here's that family with some groceries and a yellow car. So in the city, what does a yellow car usually mean? Right, it means a taxi or a cab, which is a way for people to get around because a lot of times in the city, if you take a look at the buildings are really close together, there's not a lot of space for big parking lots in a city, are there? So a lot of people that live in a city actually don't own a car. Or if they do, they don't drive it much because it might be parked away in maybe a really tall parking garage and it's kind of a nuisance to get to. So they use these things quite a bit, okay? So the story begins with, we took the dog. to the country with the big open fields, lots of green space, some structures, there's one here, one here, but they're not all close together and they're not really tall. Oh, this kind of reminds me of our sea coast here on the east coast by the beach. And here's a picture, they went to the coast and there's the taxi cab and they're unloading it. Looks like they're taking their things out of the back. And she didn't know when to stop walking. She didn't know when to stop barking. I wonder why. How would you feel if you were that dog and you lived in a city and you went there? I think you might walk and bark a lot. She looked for the blocks, she looked for the trees, those corners where the city dogs mingle and meet, but there weren't any sidewalks, no drugstores, no bounds. So no Walgreens or CVS's and no bounds. I wonder what that means. Oh, she looks like she's thinking about what she's used to. She looks a little bit confused. So she has no bounds, meaning she's not kept in. Nothing but countryside rolling around. Here she is. Or he, I don't know yet, I should say. Soft grass, warm ground, rabbit holes to paw and nose, fast bikes, bare toes. Bare toes? Do you ever go outside? and ride your bike with bare toes or run around in bare toes? I bet you do. Blue waves, crabs, crows. Maybe some of you have a connection to a scene like this. You don't live that far from the coastline. Have you ever seen something like that at the beach? Usually it's seagulls, not crows, eating. The fresh seafood. 
And when the red sun fell behind the hills into the sea, everybody, you and me, went home. The birds, the boats, there they are, right? She's got some sticks in her hand. I wonder what she's going to do with those. Maybe play with them with the doggy, throw them. Lobster boats. We have those around here too. And fish boats, not just lobster boats, I should say. And soon a yellow melon moon rose up above the wind and lit the road, trees, oats. Yeah, because it's farmland, it's rural, so there are oats growing. So what you use to make your oatmeal and your oatmeal chocolate chip cookies. And she, oh, it is a she, the city dog skipped out drinking dark air, feeling a little wild. I wonder why she was feeling a little wild. Take another look at this picture. They packed up, right? They were in the city. They hung out by the beach a little bit, right? There's a house lit up, it's nighttime. Were you expecting them to go home back to the city? Look at that. She looks pretty happy. Maybe she's realized that she can stay and she can play in the grass and she can catch the bugs, right? Her nose, play and roll around in the grass. Maybe she's happy because she's realized something. Let's see. While floating in the middle of the night, the melon yellow moon looked down at the pretty city dog, kicking up the countryside and smiled. Looks like the doggy is headed back to the house. So, what did you think of that story? Did you think that was a fun story? Do you think that there might be people that live in the city that really want to live somewhere else that's not anything like the city? Do you know anybody that's moved from the city or anybody that's moved from the country? Have you done that? And who was the main character of this story? It was this doggy right here, the city dog. Were there some other characters? There certainly were. Where did the story take place? Let's think about it. It started at the beginning in the what? The city. But then the setting of the story changed as we went along, right? And it ended up in the rural community, the countryside. So at the beginning of the story, the family was packing up. In the middle of the story, the family was in a taxi, driving someplace else. And at the end of the story, the family and the main character, the dog, ended up settling in a rural countryside home. I hope you enjoyed the story.